Hello and welcome everybody to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and I've got a doozy for you today. This is us in Kingdom 16, um, Lost Kingdom 102, AOC, taking the, the Great Ziggurat in the Lost Kingdom. So uh, our strategy was a really simple one. We went ahead and just did one rally. And spoiler alert, this was one rally, one shot, one kill. No need for other rallies. It took us about 15 minutes, less than that really. And uh, we were able to get it done very simply, very easily. Um, no second tries, no third tries. Just got everybody coordinated together and was able to take it. This is me just kind of getting everybody last second directions on what to do and getting ready and prepped up. Um, rally is already on the way, uh, starting to build up. We did a full T5 rally guys. so. Uh, the entire time the rally was filled with T5 Cav, we used Genghis Khan as primary and we used Minamoto as secondary. Thought that. Minamoto primary, Genghis secondary because of the peacemaking talents. <clears throat> and again, we did full Cav. So um, this was us, again, going to be taking the Great Ziggurat one try, first try, and uh, not needing to try it a second time. Now, when you see the rally coming, which will be in about a minute or two, um, you will notice that I can't see it. So whenever you simplify graphics, you can't see the actual rally. So I unsimplified for just a moment and um, resimplified right after just so you can kind of see what we were working with. As you'll also notice inside the video here, um, we have everybody positioned at each citadel. It's one alliance, so that there's no um, firing of the fireballs and one to the great ziggurat or any of that stuff. We needed to capture all that stuff before. We attacked the ziggurat, which we did. And then again, what's going to happen is every 3% of health the ziggurat takes damage on, there will be fireballs that come out of the ziggurat over to one of the citadels, and one to three uh, believers will spawn. And they spawn very quickly, and they walk very quickly. So everybody has to pay attention, and you'll see at the very beginning people were still kind of half AFK because they were just assembling and weren't fully ready, even though I messaged a bunch of times to be ready. Um, they were still kind of half AFK. So the first couple believers that spawned on the bottom left, even though that was our most strong uh, position as far as players go, um, that I think one of them ended up still getting to the ziggurat. Luckily it was at the very beginning, so it wasn't too crazy. Uh, all the other ones we were able to, to kill fairly easily. So every 3% of health the ziggurat took damage on, three roughly three believers two to three believers spawned and started walking towards the citadel which would i believe heal it um, if they arrived also every 35 percent health um, the great ziggurat will spawn a bunch of guardians and they kind of just uh, split across and start attacking um, the the armies that are in front of all these citadels so this was us also popping on bridal progress because again 30 percent attack does apply from Unbridled Progress on the Great Ziggurat capturing it. So that's also very helpful. We had Ronnie lead the, the rally because he had a level 60 maxed Genghis Khan. Although to be honest with you, we did primary Mina, so it's not that huge of a deal, but he already had it spec that way. So we went ahead and had Ronnie do it. Um, we used the Peacekeeping Talent Tree with max attack as far as the actual talent build, which I believe is on his, his Discord channel. Um, and then also, um, again, with Genghis Secondary having max cavalry, those nukes were going off like crazy and double nuking, and we, we both just maxed our Genghis yesterday. So that was very, very nice to have right at the uh, time where we we're going to be taking the ziggurat. So this is me also kind of looking around for the rally where you're at. <laughs> you should be coming any minute now. Um, this should certainly look fairly easy based off of what uh, you see on the video, but there's a lot of coordination behind this. There's definitely talking in Discord, people getting ready trying to get everybody together. Really, it's just a matter of managing the, the believers uh, that spawn every 3%, and then managing the guardians that spawn every 35%, but then also making sure that we're filling the rally with one type of troop. There is no real timer on this per se. I think it's six minutes is, is kind of the hardest thing to do um, as far as the timers go, but as long as you've got one main rally, and this is the rally coming in, you can see, um, the rally coming in that's invisible there. I tapped it, um, but you can't see it. And this is where I unsimplify the graphics and you'll see everything just start loading, which is kind of crazy. Um, it's gonna be very difficult to see uh, all the rally stuff. 
So there's the rally again, full T5 uh, rally with Mena primary, Genghis secondary. And you see the fireball that just came out. That's the believers spawning and they spawn. And I was checking to see if maybe any spawned in my area because I've got positioned at two different locations. There's another one right there. There's another one right there that popped up again. As you can see, nobody is responding quickly enough. So there's another one that just popped down because there's another 3% gone. Um, they just keep rapid firing, uh, going crazy. There's the AOE that the Ziggurat does as well. But as long as you don't have anybody around there swarming, which you should not do, because that's going to just build the Ziggurat's rage up faster, um, that shouldn't really be a big problem. As you can see, the, the, the Believers are going down a little slowly, but that one is going down. I think the other one goes down too. This one, again, my troops were a little farther back than I wanted them to be. So unfortunately, I don't think I made it to attack this believer because I thought it would go by the citadel not that far up but they do and I've also got my other two up here on the top right to do the same thing and I was just trying to coordinate all my stuff together but we got everything taken care of really easily see all the the believers that start stacking up because of how fast we're taking this down that one did I think hit the ziggurat and heal it but it's not too bad nothing too crazy um, one was just fine that other one at the top right is going to go down very quickly as well um, and then again, you can see just all these believers popping off like crazy and it's really hard to click them because of how many people we have on the map here. Uh, and as you can see too, it brings you closer into the ziggurat and if you're not paying attention um, and you leave your troops over there, you're going to get hit with that AOE. So you'll see a couple sad faces popping around just because they, they got too close and they weren't paying attention. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of making sure that you're on top of the believer kills so that they don't um, they don't restore strength uh, to the ziggurat, but they're coming rapid fire. So you need everybody on board, making sure they're doing what they're supposed to do. For some reason I'm getting scouted. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I think it was just a matter of making sure that you get your believers done. Um, this was our first try at this. Oof, look at that AOE damage. Um, this was our first try at this. We were able to take it in one try. Uh, as you can see, the rally is getting a little low, and we were we were thinking maybe we should drop it and restart it because of how many believers were getting so close to the ziggurat. But um, we went ahead and just let it go forward. We were you know, looking at the health of the ziggurat. We were noticing that we were putting it down pretty quickly. And again, this is full cav, guys. This was full cav uh, in the ziggurat, um, and only one rally damaging it. There was nobody swarming it. There was nobody doing anything else. Those are the guardians. Uh, that was the second set of guardians, I believe since we're about 35%, 33% left of the ziggurat. And as you can see, it was on top of the believers as well. So on my side, I think we let we ended up leave, uh, letting one believer get all the way through just because there was so much to kill. Um, but I did go ahead and do my best to kill that last uh, believer as well. Um, I don't think they ended up making it. I think uh, we ended up killing that as well and then started focusing down on the um, the Guardian as well, and yeah, I, I don't see any heals happening on the Ziggurat, so I don't think any of them were able to make it in at the last second, um, and as you can see, there's more stuff coming as well. We're trying to move my guys back a bit so I don't get hit by that AoE. Um, everybody's moving back on this side as well. I'm not sure why those guys didn't get hit there on the bottom right because they're right beside the Ziggurat, but we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Uh, more believers spawning all over the place. They have those little beams of light, which is nice to have because you can kind of see where they're at uh, on the map in front of you. But again, just look how many people are on top of the believers. It's really hard to pick, like actually select them. And then dragging and dropping is just not an option because you'll just start sitting, hitting the blue circles and no red circles. So you have to click and, and attack. And unfortunately, it's really hard to click them. As you can see, I'm selecting people right now, trying to get to the believer. And um, again, I'm just rotating between the two, just trying to make sure that I'm attacking everything that I'm supposed to be attacking. Uh, I think I do it again on the bottom right here. And again, you'll start seeing me click people instead of believers, which is right there. I'm gonna go up to the top and make sure that I get that one at the top right as well. New fresh one at the top left. And there it is, victory. One shot, one kill, one rally, no wipes, no nothing. And um, yeah, it took about five, six minutes. It wasn't too bad. Once the rally actually hit the ziggurat, Took about five or six minutes. And yeah, it was really fun. We got all the rewards. I'll go ahead and show you the rewards there. That's me removing my troops from the Ziggurat because we're gonna give a couple of the other alliances uh, inside of Kingdom 16. 
um, the, the occupation rewards for the achievement. And then also we're going to give kill from Kingdom 15, the same thing. Um, so that's actually what we're doing right now. I figured I'd go ahead and make the video for it and uh, put it out there for you guys to enjoy. So this was first shot, first kill, no wipes, no reloads, no nothing. Um, pretty simple, guys. Pretty simple. I think, honestly, it was a little bit anticlimactic, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> it just wasn't, uh, wasn't too, too hard. We messed up a couple times and we're still able to, uh, to take it with relative ease. The, the, um, there was some buffs by the way from Ziggurat, but the actual taking of it, the, the rally was topped off pretty much the whole time. So we didn't really have any point where we were really low on taking the, uh, the Ziggurat. So this is me just pulling all my troops back because, again, now it's time to share the love, spread the love a little bit, and let the other alliances get in and tap on the Ziggurat so they can get their achievement awards on the Twilight Chronicles. And then, um, yeah, I mean, this was, this was relatively easy. Had a couple kudos from some of the other alliances in our continent, and then um, obviously everybody getting excited about uh, inside of our alliance taking it, which was really nice. But other than that, I hope you all enjoy. I think um, I think I just went through a couple other things with the achievements. I think I go up to the Chronicles at this point too very soon and collect my Alliance achievement for capturing the Great Ziggurat as well, which is really nice. I think all in all, if you're in the Alliance that cap captures the Ziggurat first, you get a total of 7,000 gems uh, from, from capturing it because you get 5,000 from the first occupation and then 2,000 from the Twilight Chronicle. And then um, there's a bunch of speed ups, like 150 hours of speed ups from the first cap. And then another probably 100 or so um, from the second, uh, the Twilight Chronicle that you get too. So it's just, it's a lot of stuff that you get, man. It's a lot of uh, bonuses and goodies that you get from capturing this. And there is a little bit of a buff there too, having the, um, the Ziggurat for, for Lost Kingdom because uh, in four and a half days, all the level four passes open for all the other alliances. So now the fun starts. There's the uh, achievement for the Alliance Chronicle. You get 2K gems. Uh, looks like a million XP, which is nice. Um, 40 hours of speed ups, 3K action points, and five golden keys, which is pretty nice. Getting everybody healed up here. Um, I think this is probably about it. This is just me doing some maintenance. So yeah, that was it. Um, let me go back to regular mode as well. There we go. All right, so this is regular mode, and let's see if anybody's captured. So UN1 has now captured it, so they're getting their achievements. Uh, I believe AOC2 will get it, UN, UN2 will get it, and then Kill will get it as well. And then we'll figure out who's going to get the... Um, <laughs> we'll figure out who's going to get the, uh, the thing. Um, like I said, other people from other alliances are congratulating us and um, trying to figure out what they want to do. So um, with that being said, this is the end of the video, making it very short and sweet. Um, looks like it was just over 13 minutes, so very short. Um, this is Dragothine here signing out. Hope you'll have a great day. Take care. Cheers. I'll see you all next time. We're going to have tons of action coming for you very soon. Take care.